Welcome to the Dalton Cast, episode number two. It is Sunday, April 2nd, the year 2023. And as I said, you know, these these podcasts will be essentially talking kind of about talking about what's going on in my life during the week. Uh, so last week, you know, I mentioned about uh, work, about being brought in to assist with managing this team of developers. And I, I think this past week, I think, went pretty well. Uh, we solved uh, a lot of problems. Uh, but of course, as you know, when you solve some problems, you create other problems. Um, but, you know, we have like this enrollment process where sometimes we have to attach blood work, not attach blood work. And sometimes the the conditions of which where we send them to this uh, doctor network for approval can sometimes be convoluted uh, because there's edge cases, right? Um, so we had this one situation where, where we pushed it and then it did what we wanted in one scenario, but it kind of did what we didn't want it to do in another scenario. So as you can imagine, you know, we had to sort of kind of get this business rules sort of ironed down. And for the most part, uh, that's been working fine. Uh, this week, I've sort of, I don't know if anybody here has ever used, well, I imagine some of you probably had, have used authorized.net. Uh, I haven't touched authorized.net in 10 years. Uh, I'm surprised it's still around, but <laughs> nonetheless, uh, it's in the code. Uh, Having some problems with getting some refunds. It's kind of weird because, you know, I'm giving it a transaction ID that it originated from, and I, I don't know. I just need more time to sit there and mess with it. And then one of the things I got to work on uh, Friday was uh, there's a uh, browser emulation testing system. It's called Test Cafe. Um, of course, you know, I'm so accustomed to using Puppeteer or Laravel Dusk, uh, but Test Cafe was pretty cool. Uh, I sort of like how they do the UI where they, they do this little animation where they show where the mouse pointer is going. And, uh, but as you can imagine, I had to write essentially this browser test for one of our enrollment processes because, as you can imagine, the process before is, okay, we're going to do something and then we want to test it. Well, uh, if you can imagine a human being having to type, and of course, when you, now, of course, I should preface this, that uh, when it comes to uh, telehealth, uh, there, there can be a lot of questions during an enrollment process. I, I think, uh, like in some cases, we're talking about forty or fifty questions. Now, of course, when you, we talk about a question, you know, or you could be t- talking about data points like, you know, an address, medical history, things like that. But nonetheless, there's a lot of questions. Well, if you can imagine a human being having to go open a browser and click a button and type some text, click enter, go to the next thing, click this, click that, do this, do that, like. That's, uh, it's almost, I don't want to say it's a waste of human time, but it's a waste, I think, of developer time. So I, I wrote this thing with Test Cafe that would kind of go in in lightning fashion and kind of fill out the form. And I got to the last page, the very last page. And the last page kind of has the section where you got to enter uh, your payment details. And so the issue is that, you know, with it being a payment system, you know, there's an iframe that you have to sort of tap into. And, you know, and it was, was it was that the method is called like switch to iframe or something, some ba- basic method name that lets you know kind of that you're supposed to go into the iframe. Therefore, you get to those inputs and type them. And I, I, I felt like I was striking out for an hour or two. Like, no matter what I was doing, well, the logic says this should work. But it wasn't. And if you can imagine the frustration that that just puts you in. But then I noticed that, you know, that in the test, it would sort of give me these errors early. Well, so what I did, there's a way that you can kind of turn, I don't want to say turn off error reporting, but there's a way that you can kind of tell it to not do its normal thing at the start. And once I disabled that, I actually was then able to get into the iframe. I could get into the iframe, I could fill out, you know, the credit card number, you know, the 4111111, then you got the the expiration date, then you got the three-digit uh, pin on the back. But then, you know, I had to get from the iframe back out to the main window, which was odd because when it would go to the main window, you would think that the DOM, it would recognize in the DOM that there's two checkboxes that are that are already visible on the page. So if you can already see them, you know they're visible. You know they exist, but for some reason, Test Cafe was not able to sort of like determine that they were already there. 
And so if, if you can imagine, you're like you're writing this test and all your tests, you're just chaining into method after method after method after method. And I'm going like, like shoot me, why is, why is this one thing becoming just a pain point? And so what I had to do is write the test and then kind of separate from, from the, the part where it goes to the main window. And then I had to set this uh, line of code in to where it's sort of, with a sync, it does this thing where it sort of goes to check for the presence of the, of the element. So I guess there's something that's got to wait for to happen. And so then, then it would recognize that, hey, the checkboxes are here. And it would check them, check them. Then I'd click that last button, final button. I was supposed to submit the form. And what do you know? It says there's it had issues processing the payment. And so now I so like I got to the final step. I thought I finally had this whole thing conquered. You know, I was ready to spray the room down with champagne. And it and at the very end I couldn't get it to work. So now uh, tomorrow when work starts, I gotta get back in there and try to figure out how do I make this thing honor the credit card information that I'm putting into it. Uh, because the if you look at the data, like the way I'm typing, the way I would have typed it into the page is the same as the data being typed in through te uh, Test Cafe. So this will be a bug, not a bug, but this will be something that I gotta I gotta solve tomorrow, and I I don't want it to defeat me. You know, as, as developers, you know, the last thing we ever want to do is wave the white flag and say, ah, eh, we'll try another, we'll try another framework. You know, I don't want, I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna be a little stubborn. But being stubborn like this is what's helped me in my career. It's helped me get to where I'm at. And then when you finally figure it out, you are victorious. And then you get your little dopamine rush. It gets you through the problem. And it carries you through all the stuff you're going to go through to solve the next problem. So wish me well on that. Uh, this past week, I've been doing uh, mentorship uh, sessions. I've done uh, three this week. And of course, as you can imagine, you get to you get to come to know uh, some really cool people that are doing stuff. They just need a little little help, a little guidance, just uh, some confidence put into them that what they're doing is right. They just got to go through those motions. And so I, it's, I, I'm so honored that you know people have chosen me to to sit to sit with them in a in a video call, and we talk about code, we talk about Laravel, we talk about careers, we talk about what they're working on and the passions and the things that drive them. And so that's going well. And so what I did uh, yesterday on Saturday is I set up a Discord server that I'm using for my Laravel mentorship, call it, we'll call it our, our community. And so there are some pricing tiers in it. Uh, there's a $9.99 tier, which is called Basic. There's a $49.99 tier that's called Standard. And then there's the $99.99 one for Premium. Now, the Standard and the Premium, that subscription you pay gets you the mentorship session just like I did with people on video calls this week. So if you do Standard, you get 30 minutes, uh, which, of course, you can, you can split that 30 minutes out over two sessions or however you want to do it. Just like with the Premium, that's one hour, and you can split that up through it. And so now, of course, you can imagine with the with this Discord server. I'm, of course, I've never really been a Discord user. Like I've never, really, I'm not like hardcore or anything with that. So as you can imagine, I'm having to learn like a new tool to use. But it is set up, and as of right now, we have like uh, nearly a hundred and nearly a hundred and ten people uh, from all around the world that are on there. Uh, one thing that is a little frustrating with Discord is that, you know, the feature, the subscription feature for the server, you know, you, you, you set it up, you know what I mean? Then you, then you come to find out that they don't support whatever the subscription page or whatever on mobile. Well, that's a conundrum. So basically I had people that are like, you know, I went to go to this page and it doesn't work and it has nothing to do, nothing that I've done wrong. It's the fact that Discord just doesn't to support that page. Uh, so for the time being, I have a uh, channel that's called Generic, or uh, yeah, I think it's called Generic, yeah, that uh, anybody can go into and you can chat and everything and we can help you with your code and stuff. But uh, I do have those other channels available just so that you have access to code reviews, code refactors, uh, mentorship. Uh, of course, the, the Premiere uh, channel... Now, of course, you know, there's more, there's more perks to it because like, you know, I can help you with your, 
with your resume. I can help you with your, you know, your interviews. I can help you with your projects. There's also priority, uh, what I call priority responses. So if you, if you put a, something into the chat, you know, uh, my goal is to serve you as fast as I can because, you know, you're obviously paying the money for that sort of access. And so definitely utilize the, the Discord server. Leverage me in any and every way possible so that way I can help you, I can help your code, I can help your projects, I can help your career, you know, all of those things. Um, but that's sort of the recap on the week. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing these podcasts each and every Sunday. And with that said, uh, oh, anybody that's your senior one, well, how do I get to the Discord server? Uh, if you go to my Twitter, which is uh, at Jordan K. Dalton, uh, in my bio, there will be a link tree that when you visit it, uh, or when you visit it, uh, the first link in there will be for the Discord server. Um, and I think it's like two links down. There's one for if you want to uh, schedule a, uh, a mentorship session. Now note, if you do the mentorship session, note, I will add you to the Discord server. That's if your course on Discord. That way you can get the benefits of, of that uh, mentorship service uh, throughout the entire month. And so with that, this closes this week out. Thank you all again for your support, and I'll see you next week.